We also want to take a look at your traffic this morning and a couple things to note. First up, Highway 99. This is a look at 12th Avenue, the northbound direction. More like a parking lot this morning because of an earlier accident. So if you're going in that direction, northbound 99 is slow. Also wanted to show you this look, Highway 65. Again, still like a parking lot if you're coming in from Rockland because of an oil spill. So this actually happened at the connector. Let me show you that visual too. At the connector from the westbound 80 on ramp at 65. North or southbound. And so if you're coming toward westbound 80 this morning, there is an oil spill blocking one lane, and that backup is extensive. Trista Drake with CHP has an update for us. Good morning. Hi, good morning, Dina. Yeah, we are still working that uh, oil spill there, 65 at 80. Just got word that the connector is going to be completely closed for cleanup. Uh, so motorists are going to be advised to take an alternate route or uh, go a little bit further and flip around to the eastbound 80 side. Uh, but again, that is going to be closed there for cleanup, and we don't have an estimated time for opening. It is probably going to be a little bit extended, so just be aware that it's going to be very, very slow coming into Sacramento there. Also working a two vehicle collision, westbound 50 at East Bedwell. It is blocking the number three lane there. Uh, no injuries, and one vehicle is also in the center divide. Also, we have a vehicle versus a pedestrian with an ambulance responding. Stockton Boulevard at Mack Road. Some injuries there, and it is blocking as well. Another two vehicle collision, Jackson at Bradshaw. It's not blocking and on the right shoulder. Taking you out into the Tracy area, we have a two vehicle collision, westbound 580 at the 132 connector. It's in the center divide, and no injuries in that location. Uh, other than that, Modesto Merced looking collision free. Back to you in the studio, Dina. Okay, that's where I would want to be this morning. Trista, thank you so much for the updates.